Still to this day, if you ask residents of Faulkner County where the best fishing around can be found, Lake Conway is still a common reply. But if you were to ask this question back in the early 1940s, you wouldn't receive a clear answer because Faulkner County in central Arkansas did not have any fishing lakes of a substantial size. Before Lake Conway was even thought of, the area was a blend of marsh, swamp, and bottomland hardwood forest. Bald cypress, black gum, oak, pine, and other hardwoods were abundant in the area, but much of the wood was too difficult to extract to be worth the trouble. Several creeks meandered through the area, including Plarm Creek, Gold Creek, Stone Dam Creek, Panther Creek, and Little Cypress Creek. Plarm Creek turned into the Plarm Bayou just west of Sotelo, Arkansas. Several smaller lakes that were more akin to large ponds dotted the area in which the lake would be built. A few of these lakes were Gold Lake, Adams Lake, and Grassy Lake. Other small ponds and lakes were inundated by Lake Conway as well. The people of central Arkansas were limited to these small lakes and the Arkansas River to fish in. Unfortunately, these just didn't quite cut it. One of the first people to dream up Conway Lake was the Faulkner County surveyor by the name of Frank Sturmer. Sources vary on when he had the idea, but it's somewhere from the late 1890s through the 1920s. People tell of how Mr. Sturmer would spend his free time plotting land, measuring the water depth, and even picking out a location for the dam. Lake Conway would stay a dream for most people, including Mr. Sturmer, until the mid-1940s. That's when Dr. James Flanagan, a Conway dentist, would broach the subject of building a lake at the end of a Conway Chamber of Commerce breakfast. Mr. Cole, the president of the chamber, said, I appoint you a committee of one to see what can be done. Meeting adjourned. Dr. Flanagan was a member of the local chapter of the Arkansas Wildlife Federation. And with their help, Dr. Flanagan set out trying to find funding for the project. They first approached the United States Fish and Wildlife Service with the idea of building the lake as a refuge for migratory birds. The Fish and Wildlife Service official that overlooked the project determined that Faulkner County was actually one a fishing lake and not a refuge for migratory birds and then turned down the project. His advice was, if you want one, dig it yourself. Their next proposal was directed at the Army Corps of Engineers. They had built several lakes in Arkansas at this time, including Lake Nimrod and Lake Norfolk. This proposal was built around flood control, which was what the Army Corps of Engineers was trying to do at the time. A few of their proposals were actually accepted but the one that would ultimately build the spillway and dam for Lake Conway was not. Dr. Flanagan and the local chapter of the Arkansas Wildlife Federation decided to stop looking for sources from outside the state. They then brought the proposal for the lake to the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission. The commission agreed to pay for the dam if the group would pay for the land. The local chapter of the Arkansas Wildlife Federation began to raise money through donations from Faulkner County residents. At the time, Faulkner County had a population of about 26,000 people. Almost every one of the residents in Faulkner County gave to the project, raising a total of $20,000.
Unfortunately, although $20,000 would have bought all the land previous to the fundraising, the publicity caused the prices to skyrocket from 50 cents an acre to upwards of $100 an acre. Faced with these prices, they had to turn to the statewide Arkansas Wildlife Federation. The Arkansas Wildlife Federation organized a statewide fundraising campaign that would net an additional $45,000 donated by some 50,000 Arkansans. This additional funding allowed them to start purchasing land for the lake. Some donated land, some sold their land, but others decided they did not want to sell the land for the lake. Dr. Flanagan would appeal to the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission to take the land from these landowners that would not sell. However, at this time, the commission did not have those powers granted to it by the Constitution of Arkansas. The Arkansas Wildlife Federation would propose an amendment to the Arkansas Constitution to fix this. The proposed amendment, or Amendment 35, was, according to the Arkansas Democrat Gazette, designed to stabilize the Fish and Game Commission against shakeups following changes in state house administrations and put fish and game conservation on the most efficient and practical basis. In Arkansas during this time, several agencies were changed to be more independent. Amendment 35 would pass with a total of 61.44% of the vote. It wasn't until June 16th of 1947 that the Game and Fish Commission would move forward with acquiring the land through the power of eminent domain. Some of the land that was disputed would end up in court, and during these court proceedings it was pointed out that sewage from the town of Conway was being poured directly into Stone Dam Creek, which runs into Flarm Creek, upstream from where the dam would be built. The mayor and city council of Conway promised that they would have a sewage treatment facility built before the lake was finished. The Stone Dam Creek wastewater treatment plant was upgraded in 1950. Work on the dam and spillway for Lake Conway would not start until October of 1950. Lake Conway would be launched officially on July 4th of 1951. On that day, Dr. Flanagan presented the deed and title of the land to Mr. Armill Taylor, a member of the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission. Remember Frank Sturmer, the Faulkner County land surveyor with the dream of Lake Conway? Well, he lived long enough to see Lake Conway built. He died September 22nd of 1953 from a heart attack while driving to work just a few miles away from Lake Conway. Lake Conway, in many ways, paved the way for many lakes to be built. Some 31 lakes will be built between 1950 and 1987. Lake Conway is still, almost 75 years later, the largest lake built by any state game and fish commission in the United States of America at 6,700 acres. <laughs>